morning welcome to today's video we are picking up right where we left off i am just forcing myself to record at this point but welcome to another vlog i just got my new vitality package yesterday i forget exactly what they're calling this but it's the cloud two material i forgot how amazing it was i got like everything in this blueberry color so i have the leggings the shorts they came out with a skirt a jumpsuit uh a tank top the bra I have on, this jacket I have on. Am I missing something? I don't think so, I think that might be it. But I have it all in this blueberry color and all of their stuff kind of like go, like all their collections go together now. They're all on the same color palette, all just different shades. So you can kind of like mix and match them together, which I love versus just like the very unique one set that you can only wear as a set together. I just feel like this will, you'll get a lot more use out of, but these are so freaking comfortable. I love the color and then I put them on with my APL shoes that I got on sale because I was not gonna pay the full price for them. <laughs> but I like these because they go with like all of these colors. Still a neutral shoe, a little switch up from what I normally wear. So that's my outfit, the new Vitality Blueberry set. I do like this bra a lot. I mean, you guys have heard me say just like, you know, a billion times how much I like neutral, or just like basics. And I feel like this is like the definition of basic. The only thing right off the bat, I would say some people might not like, the straps sit out a little bit further. I have broad shoulders, so it doesn't really bother me. But the straps are adjustable, so you can tighten them, which would help keep them in place. But I just like how simple it is. It's so comfortable. And they have the thin, like optional padding. You guys know, I choose to keep padding in. I personally like having that, but if you're someone who doesn't like it, you can take it out as well. I know they have like a really bright green color and then I'll have to look back. I don't know, all the pictures on the screen of what everything's called, the items that are gonna be available, but I'm really impressed. But I need to head off to my alpha conditioning class. So let's go. off my body but I figured there was like no point in washing my hair because I have a lot of computer work and then errands I have to do while my mom is watching Emmy she just picked her up so I'm eating really quick because I'm hungry again I can't just have my smoothie in the morning like sometimes previously I could do that I think it's just the fact that Emmy is so on the move now and I'm like between a hard workout in the morning and then just chasing her around I'm burning way more calories. Whereas I used to be sitting at my computer like all day. I'm gonna eat this, go finish editing the full day of eating I recorded yesterday. And then we have, I talked about it a little bit on Instagram. I was going between wanting a day bed swing for our porch and then just this set from Lowe's that has like two little rocking chairs and a love seat and table. That would be way more affordable. We could also get it now, but I don't know, I've just been, going back and forth what I would want. I think the daybed swing would be great up there. It's more expensive, would take longer to get here. And I think it would take up kind of like an awkward amount, uh, awkward amount of space on our porch. So I don't know, I'm leaning towards the Lowe's thing. If we decide to do that, we might just go get that. So we have that before Emmy's party, just more seating space, hoping that it's, you know, if it's nice outside, people could go sit out there if they wanted to. But anyway, I'm gonna eat this, get to work and then Chris is at the gym right now, so maybe we'll figure out the rest of the plan once he gets home. Full day of eating, done. I'm uploading it right now. And while it was exporting, instead of working on the thumbnail, every once in a while, I like to go back, watch some old videos, or just like scroll through old footage like on my hard drives. So I went back to the first video I posted 
after like the first vlog I posted after having Emmy and then when Chris went back to work and it was making me emotional because like now I feel like I'm so far out of that, you know, postpartum journey. I definitely am still on a postpartum journey, but it's so much different than like fresh postpartum. I was so emotional. The first two weeks I even told Chris, I'm like, I feel like I'm having like the opposite of postpartum depression. Like I was just so happy. It was, you know, middle of summer. It was beautiful outside. We were just in heaven with Emmy and our new roles and Chris was home and just like everything was amazing and perfect. And then just kind of like crap hit the fan at two weeks. I feel like all of my postpartum emotions hit and my hormones were just everywhere. Emmy had like the colicky fussiness going on or reflux and Chris went back to work. Like all of it hit at one time and I was just a mess, a mess. And I'm so glad I decided to record that and share all of that because although it didn't feel good in the moment, it was still like part of the journey and if I wouldn't have picked up the camera on those days because my eyes were red from crying, <laughs> I wouldn't have all of these little videos of Emmy and like all of, you know, I have a full day to look back on of what, what my life looked like back then. That was really fun to watch. Also, once again, made me emotional because I'm like, oh my gosh, one Emmy was so tiny and now she's about to be a freaking year old. How time goes by so fast. And also just seeing how far I've come in my confidence as a mom and just, I mean, everything. It's just amazing to watch yourself evolve. I'm very proud of Chris and I. And also, I feel like I say this pretty frequently, but just thank you for hanging out through all of the different seasons of life. Whether you've been here from the bodybuilding days or post bodybuilding days and just, you know, the whole like, I feel, it was like bodybuilding days and then like fit and functional days. Although that is still what I call my programs, I feel like I am now into, you know, like the family fit and functional <laughs> phase. Um, but yeah, thank you for the support. Thank you for following along. It means the world. And it's just crazy to see how far we've come. I mean, like even just within the last year, obviously we've changed a lot because we became parents. And if you didn't change, that would probably be a really weird thing. But yeah, it's just, I don't know. I'm really grateful I have all of it documented. It's so fun to go back and watch. So anyway, I'm gonna let this upload. Um, I did get my Paragon package. This stuff launches, let me see. <clears throat> launches on June 14th. At early access is 1 p.m. Eastern. The general access is 2 p.m. Eastern. I do feel like their stuff has been selling out quicker. Yes? Mine is shot. Oh, I am. Yeah. Oops. It's okay. Ooh. I have a reel I want you to reveal. This almost feels more like a mixture between like an Align material and like a spandex. Kind of like the Cloud 2 from Vitality. Like that thinness. Oh gosh, there's a butt scrunch. They had one on the last set and I actually didn't realize it and I liked it. It was very subtle. This one looks a little bit more obvious, but we'll see. Maybe once it's on, it just kind of like gives you a little like indent in between the cheeks. <laughs> we'll see. I don't know. Um, yeah, that's what's popular, right? Yeah, but like, don't, I don't like the brands that have like the super obvious butt scrunch. I just don't. No, no, it's not even the butt scrunch. You don't lift with a lot of kid, like college age, no, high school age, young 30. Young 30. 20s. Teens and 20s. You don't lift with many of them. I do. Not with them, but I see them. The butt. Shorts. The pants up the butt is just how it is. I actually have a question. That's how it is. From a guy's perspective, what do you think of the trending clothes for females right now? I guess just specifically gym, since we're talking about that. Gym clothes? Yeah. What do you think about the... Oh, I see... Here's what I think is trending, just by what I see, is shorts and massive t-shirts. Mm -hmm. yeah. And you got your Nike, uh, your Nike blazers mm -hmm. with the high socks. So far from me. <laughs> that's, I mean, is that not what's popular? No, that's popular. Yeah, it's the oversize. But thing. then like, like people massive. absolutely hiking up their yeah. leggings and shorts up their booties. To each their own, hey. If you're comfortable like that, go for it. He'll joke around and like try to pull my pants up and I like don't even think about it. I hate it. It's so uncomfortable. But you wear a thong. I guess it's so different. Okay. It's so different. 
Um, the amount of people wearing slippers in the gym. Like, okay. Makes so, no sense to me. I'll be cleaning in my slippers at home and I'm like, gosh, my feet are so hot. I cannot imagine what their slippers smell like. So there was probably <coughs> five to eight looked like late high school, early college age kids there today. Mm -hmm. I saw slides. One of them wearing slides. One of them was wearing slippers. One of them was wearing um, Crocs. Yeah, the Crocs, I know that's been popular. Croc. I, I, I get Crocs because you get some protection and they're breathable. And yeah. I get it. But like the flops or the uh, slides yeah. with open toe, yeah. the slippers, like the fuzzy slippers, uh, Birkenstocks I saw today. Yeah, I don't know. Mm -hmm. I just don't get it. These are the Rec Stretch Original Sculpt Seam Plus Short in Color Onyx. Wow, that was kind of a lot. So these are the shorts. I got them in a size small bra. We have the Rec Stretch Essential Bra in the color Onyx. So it matches obviously just like the black and charcoal gray tie dye. This color I was very excited about. I got the leggings in this. So the Rec Stretch Origi Original Sculpt Seam Plus Leggings. Whew. In the color Venice. Beautiful. I love that. So same thing. They have the little butt scrunch. It looks like it's going to be obvious. If it fits like the last purple set I had, I loved them because it like you can tell once you stretch it a little bit, aka once it's on, it just kind of gives your butt a little bit more oomph, if you know what I'm saying. We'll see, I don't know. Um, this is looking quite tiny to me. We'll have to try those on later and see how they fit, but I'm excited to try those. I got the matching bra, same bra as the other one, so the Rex Stretch Original Bra. Once again, color Venice, beautiful. You guys know I love a basic bra. I'm a little nervous that there's no like you can't adjust the straps at all. So we'll see how those fit. And then the last color I got is in the color Flirt. So it's like a pink tie-dye. I got the Rec Stretch shorts again. And then same thing, the matching bra. Super cute. So I'll have to try all this stuff on. Once again, launches on June 14th. Uh, okay, I'm gonna, what do you need? I'm gonna talk to Chris and then we'll f figure out what the heck we're doing. Got Lulu's Bark Box. They're always so freaking cute. Carnival Barkers. This is a little hot dog. A little corn dog. <laughs> is it? Good. Okay. <laughs> Lamb biscuits and salmon recipe, jerky bites. Perfect pitch. Uh, one of those things you like throw the ball at, try and knock it over. I've been to a carnival or like carnival games. I haven't played them in a long time. That one's cute, the little corn dog. As you saw, I sat outside for a little bit because it feels amazing. And we have had air quality issues the last three days. Um, I'm sure you've seen New York City is like insane. Obviously, we don't have it to that extent, thank goodness. But it's because of the same reason, the Canadian wildfires, just crazy, honestly. Um, but the, it's finally starting to get better today. Like you can tell, it is visibly clearer. The last couple days, everything has just been like in a fog. Um, obviously, smoke, so. Glad it's better. It's not affecting my eyes as much. It was really bothering my eyes and I couldn't figure it out. And then I saw the post, whatever, like three days ago. And I was like, that makes sense. So long story short, we've been limiting our time outside. Lulu hasn't really been on any long walks yesterday and the day before were not good. Now it's back to just like sensitive groups. So anyway. Mama, Lily. What are you doing? Always oh, a good girl. Okay.
haul was a success. Oh, my watch died. <laughs> oh my God. Was that, did I get stuck to you? No, I killed off. We have so many thistles in our beds right now, but like in the middle of our lawn, Lulu was running back inside after, you know, she's outside while we're playing volleyball and like whipped her head around and was looking weird. Like she stepped on something. There's this huge spiky, like way bigger thorns than thistles have just right in the middle of our lawn. We have to pick weeds again. Anyway, um, volleyball is good. It's like 75 today or something. So it felt really good. Although I'm still sweating. Chris has his suckers. I, I don't have a creamy for tonight. Yeah, mine. What is yours? I have two. I have a s'mores and then We'll see. I did grab two bags of chips. Um, I have buttermilk ranch, rice crisps, and then the baked lays barbecue. I don't know what we're gonna watch, but we're gonna relax for a little bit. Hopefully you enjoyed it. I also, as you saw on the screen, I have all three of those creamy recipes listed down below. Um, after the full day of eating, I was getting more messages and comments on that video asking for recipes. I've posted two on Instagram as like a reel, but I'll have all three. You saw me make all of them. The only difference, and I'll have this in the description below as well, the protein hot chocolate one I make, I normally use Swerve Brown Sugar as the sweetener in there. I'll just do like a half teaspoon or a teaspoon, but we were out of Swerve Brown Sugar, so I use the monk fruit instead, which is what I used in the other ones as well. So normally the Swerve would be in there. I like that. It's like... I don't know, I just feel like it fits that flavor really well. And then I also, my camera actually ran out of storage or else I would have recorded this. I'm testing out a vanilla, like a vanilla base, but I added the sugar-free pistachio pudding. I love pistachio. So we'll see how that is. I'll perfect that one and then I will share that recipe as well, but I'm hoping it's gonna be delicious. We'll just see, but I hope you enjoy the video. It is Saturday here. We actually have a birthday party to go to. Emmy's with my mom right now. They went to the pool and then we're picking her up right after her second nap to go to that party. And there's also gonna be like a little water play area there. So she's gonna be wiped by the time we get home, I think, but it should be a good day. I already have this video done and I recorded three little try-ons, an aloe yoga one, the Vitality one and Paragon, all on my phone already. So I've had a very productive day and now I'm gonna go sit outside. But I hope you have a wonderful Sunday or whenever you're watching this.